of TCU, 55 to 48. So the Bulldogs will have to do something that they have not done all year long, come from behind when facing a halftime deficit. They are 0 and 8 in those situations this year. Ralph Wood, along with Irv Brown here, to talk about the first half. And a couple of guys, Irv, just really jumped right out at you. It's incredible. We go to the highlights, and uh, I tell you what, this Jones was sensational. He played all 20 minutes, as did Johnson. And they just lit it up. It's just as simple as that. Don't know any other way to put it. They were incredibly hot. Mike Jones with the 24 points matching the number. Now, Bulldogs did some good things defensively. Here it's Dominic Young with the steal. And then Young will make the court-long pass to Danielle Macklin for the slam. Yeah, anytime Brace you get the home run like that, it really pays off. So Young really came on late. Here's another pick. And Heron, who had the big start, kept his ball club in the game. In fact, he was 8 of 13. Shows you his athleticism as he goes coast to coast. And he makes the uh, little one off the glass. So Chris had a big first half. Dominic Young hit three straight three-pointers. Fresno State cut a 15-point lead down to four, but this was the last shot before the end of the first half. Anthony Burks with a three. So instead of going to the locker room down by four, Fresno State trailed by seven. You see Jones and Johnson, the two guys, doing it all offensively for TCU. Chris Heron, the only Bulldog in double figures. Dominic Young, those three straight three-pointers down the stretch. Pacific Bell, smart yellow pages. First half stats. The rebounds jump right out at you. It's unbelievable. 24 to 9. You don't beat anybody getting uh, out rebounded like that. And that's got to change if Fresno's going to have a chance. That. Shooting percentages very good for both teams. But again, the Bulldogs 0 and 8 this year when they trail at halftime. And Fresno State is down with 20 minutes of basketball left. We'll be back for the second half after this timeout. What's the deal with this new Long John salad bread bowl thing? What do you mean? The name's all wrong. Look, you've got grilled chicken or chilled shrimp, lettuce, tomatoes, dressing. Like a salad. That's not like a salad, because you can eat the bowl, which is bread. So what would you call it? The self-contained meal unit. Or meal pod. Long John's new salad bread bowl is only $3.89. You guys have too much time on your hands, don't you? Yeah. Hey, one more reason to take a fresh look at Long John's. You've tried to prevent it. You've tried to decrease it. You've even tried to stop it. Now you can reduce or virtually eliminate it. Stop snoring for good and begin enjoying nights of restful sleep. Trust the physicians at the Central California Ear, Nose, and Throat Medical Group. RSVP today for our next free educational seminar. Blindfold our customers. That way they won't see our dirty restrooms or that there are no paper towels and no squeegees or what a hassle it is to pay and that we have really long lives. I see. What do you want from your gas station? Blindfolds or the basics like squeaky clean restrooms? 76, we get it. Don't let the good looks fool you. This is no wimp truck. Mile after mile, load after load, year after year. Chevy full-size pickups just keep on hauling. But don't take our word for it. Chevy full-size trucks. The best when you buy them, best when you drive them, the best when you sell them. Good looks, no extra charge. Get one today at your Central Valley Chevrolet Geo dealer. Back in Las Vegas, ready for the start of the second half. Ralph Wood along with Irv Brown here. Dominic Young will start the second half for Fresno State along with Chris Heron, Damon Corney, Darnell McCullough, and Rasan Smith. That's amazing to me. Johnson and Jones played all 20 minutes. Billy Tubbs didn't give him a bit of rest. There's a stat that's uh, rather intriguing. Let's see if Fresno State can do something about that. They shot very well the first half. Both ball clubs did. The rebounds are the difference. Damon Corney with the opportunity for a steal. Did not get it. Off his No good. Davis with the rebound. Off his foot and out of bounds. So it'll be Fresno State basketball. And once again, the inside position, though, to the guys in purple. And Fresno State catches a, a break there. Here's the pressure. It's been there all game. The rebounding margin was 24 to 9 in favor of TCU at halftime. Young really came on the last six minutes of the half, Ralph. He could be huge. 
all of a sudden uh, the ESPN TV crew right in front of us has decided they need to stand up to set things up. Blocking us off a little bit is Forney. In and out, rebound Rashawn Smith. Puts it up and slams it home. Watch again, now this guy's been getting a little better each and every game. This thing's a long way from over, five point lead. Forney nearly steals it, knocks it off the TCU player, off of Johnson. Fresno State will get the basketball. 13 turnovers now for TCU. McCullough, nice move through the key. Left-hander in and out. That baby went way down in. <laughs> that was a heartbreaker. I looked over, I thought Jerry Derrick Kenny was going down with a big one on that one. Good drive, good slash. That would have cut it to three. Instead, Jones, no good at the other end. 40 with the rebound. Heron with Rasan Smith on the flank. Heron will take it himself, blocked from behind by Davis and out of bounds. Let's see if Heron can get rolling again. I thought he got a little tired near the end of the half. He exerted so much energy early, he was so good. Here's a block from behind by the wide body, Davis. And it's clean, well done. I'll tell you, I can believe he got tired. I got tired just watching him. McCullough rebounds, Corny Smith. Dominic Young ended the first half with three straight three-pointers. That went another close basket that the Bulldogs nearly had and came out. They missed a couple of puppies, would have cut it to one. See if TCU can make the Bulldogs pay at the other end. Jerry's Johnson. in the zone now. Yes. Well, that's tough. When you go against Jones and Johnson in the zone, you got to make sure you find the shooter. pressure that Billy Tubbs puts on, if you just keep the dribble alive, they back off. They try and double team against the boundary, and if you uh, keep it alive, they'll just go back to regular defense. Young for three. Too long. Nobody there to rebound but Purple Shirts. Johnson gets his sixth of the game. At the other end, Johnson hits two straight three-pointers. 23 points now for Malcolm Johnson. They might streak as good as anybody in the country. They can be very, very good. After cutting it to five and then missing a couple of opportunities to cut it to one, Fresno State's now giving up six straight. Steal by Johnson, but it goes to Heron. TCU does not let up. Rasan Smith with the move, the dish, McCullough inside. That breaks a little mini run. Nice effort by Smith, showed good strong hands on that effort. Staying in the matchup zone. Davis walked with basketball, took a little extra step as he leaned in to Rasan Smith. And Smith is doubled over in pain. See if we can see what happens. Down in the, the box, elbow, right goes the elbow. And the walk came before the contact. So sure. we'll see if Smith can stay in the game. Let's take a look at the turnovers, Ralph. TCU does a lot of things. There are a lot of coaches who believe if you don't turn it over, you're not doing anything. And Billy Tug obviously has his ball club doing a lot of things. Bulldogs down by nine as they bring it up offensively. That's inside to Forney, who throws it away. Forney, I think, tried to get a little too cute with the pass, attempted pass around the defender. And Jones makes him pay at the other end. A strong move by Jones. They lead him by 11. And it's 26 points now for Mike Jones. His first two points in the second half. Aaron. Right hand runner, he's good. And that's where he's been at his best. On the drive, give the officials a decision. In this case, no decision. There have been no fouls called in this half. They've let him play, and you know what? Everybody kind of appreciates that. Nothing wrong with it. Damon Forney cut off that passing lane, anticipating, and gets the steal. Heron, good look at a three-pointer, gonna be short. Rebound comes off to Damian Walker. So he played nearly five minutes here in the second half. As a three-pointer put up by Johnson, no good. 
I'll tell you what, right now it's like shirts and skins, though. There's bodies all over the floor. As you got some tired players, see who gets the second win. Chris Heron scored 19 in the first half. That was his biggest half of the year. Has two here so far in the second half. Boy, that was a great pass. McCullough couldn't quite track it down. The pass intended for Darnell McCullough got by him. He was open under the basket. It's the ninth turnover for Fresno State. So, Bulldogs, still a lot of ground to make up, but a lot of time to do it. 14.54 remaining. We've got a timeout on the floor. Pat Ryan on Valley Fork's version of the old four-corner offense. To the far corner, the 97 Escort. Over to the 97 Tracer. Rotate to the 97 Contour. And into the 97 Mercury Mystique. Nothing but net savings. But don't burn too much time off the clock. It's a limited offer. on TV. Tomorrow morning at 9, join supermodel Cheryl Teagues as she guest hosts Fox After Breakfast, only on your station, KMPH, Fox 26. 14.54 remaining in our basketball game. Fresno State trailing TCU by 9. The winner of this quarterfinal advances to the semifinals tomorrow, a 6 p.m. game, to face Tulsa, the Golden Hurricane. A winner over UNLV today in a great game, a great finish, 68-65, to 65, Tulsa beating Las Vegas. That's as electric a crowd as I've seen this year. Because look at the field goal percentage. This is in the second half. Fresno State has fallen way off. Well, I've stayed in the zone. Davis with a good tip to keep it alive. Long rebound comes out to Jones. Then Fresno State battles up the miss, and Chris Heron comes out with it. Pressured in the backcourt, dribbling through pressure and drawing the foul. Tough call, but the right call by Scott Thornley. Now Johnson is down. See if he's all right. TCU wanted to charge. Watch where the contact comes. Contact comes with the knee right there as Heron tries to slice through. That's the first personal foul this half. Now, normally, games are always decided if they're close by a foul shooting and a foul count. Aaron stumbles and falls and turns it over. Tenth turnover for Fresno State. Caught a quick peek at Heron. He made a grimace as he was going down. Then he almost, it looks like, tried to call timeout on the way down. He's flexing his right leg. Looks like he got a Charlie horse. He took one in the thigh. Contact on two consecutive plays for Chris Heron Jones with a three-pointer at the other end. 29 now for Mike Jones. Is this guy as good a shooter as there is uh, at a two-guard in, uh, in this country? I got to tell you something now. I saw him against Utah. I well, this might be the real deal. Nothing today has changed my mind. What do you have, 36 against 36. the Utes? Corny with the uh, little extra step there. But lays it up and in. He has six. Young knocks it out of bounds. Down again, going for the steal on the sideline. Nearly had it. But it will be TCU ball. That looked like it was traveling without a suitcase, but nobody called anything. Added another move to the repertoire there. Yeah. Kendrick Brooks into the game for the Bulldogs. Darnell McKellar taking a rest. Before we have action, it's a timeout. A 20-second timeout. 20-second timeout. 10-point game. 
So we'll take this time for this week in Bulldog Sports, brought to you by Glendale Federal Bank. This weekend, the second-ranked softball team will host three whack doubleheaders at Bulldog Diamond on Friday and Saturday. First pitch at 6 o'clock on Friday and at 1 o'clock on Saturday. On Sunday, first pitch is at 5. For ticket information, call 278-DOGS. The baseball team of the Bulldogs will host San Diego State in the three-game whack series this weekend. First pitch, 7 p.m. on Friday and Saturday nights and 1 o'clock in the afternoon on Sunday. Ticket information, call 278-DOGS. This week in Bulldog Sports has been brought to you by Glendale Federal Bank. Jones will bring it inbound for TCU. 1339 remaining in the game. Jones and teammate Malcolm Johnson have 52 of TCU's 66 points. Joe Johnson misfires on that one. Fred Fred Smith went, comes out. Excuse me, Ralph. They went man to man that time. Just couldn't afford to stay in the zone with those shooters. Damon Forney takes the pass from Dominic Young and hits the open jumper. So Forney will consecutive back baskets and he has eight. Johnson drives and slams it with one hand. 25 now for Malcolm Johnson. Young, a long three. Rebound comes off to Prince Fowler. Drives between Young and Heron and scores. Well, that's a way to split a seam. And now they're up by 12 points. They continue to put the pressure on you get something going and then they answer. Look at Forney and Davis kill each other. Forney has it blocked from behind. Heron gets it. Put it up. Count the basket and he's fouled. He hasn't hit a jump shot since about the first six minutes of the game. He's done such a great job with penetration. In this case, he gets a stick back. Here's the effort as Davis and Forney really going after each other. And then Heron, one of the smaller guys on the floor with exception of Fowler and Young, gets it off the glass and cut it to nine. 23 points for Heron. He's two out of three from the line. Two out of four now. Walker, who got the foul on the previous play, gets the rebound. The Jones contact out of bounds. No foul. There's no state. Kendrick Brooks knocked it out of bounds. Little Jerry Tarkani, who coached here for so many years. His rival, Billy Tubbs. His record on this floor as head coach of the Rebels is 136. Another one. I'll tell you where he was even better with the old convention center. They used to a lot of basketball games over there. I can't remember anybody beating them. Bulldogs just cannot stop TCU at the other end. Kickball, reset, 35-second shot clock. Give it to the Bulldogs out of bounds. 12-12 remaining now in the game. It's 72-60. TCU, Bulldogs have uh, trailed virtually throughout this game. Fresno State's last lead may have been 10-9. You expect for, uh, TCU, that is, to cool off, and it just had not happened, Ralph. They have hit so many perimeter shots. It's been incredible. Getting a lot of good inside shots, also getting a lot of rebounds. Corny, short on the bank shot. Heron up in the air and draws the foul. Jones will go to the free throw line. Looking for his 30th, 30 first point. Here it is. Good move. Watch the pivot foot. Takes care of it. That's perfectly legal. That's an NBA move. When he gets it up on the glass, too, to make sure he gets a pair. 76% from the line. He has 29 points in this one. Two out of two on free throws. Against Tulsa, Tulsa's got a good guard. I watched him today. His seals can play. Real mature guard, big, strong guy. Well, I alluded earlier to the catch-22 situation. Do you want to take on a Tulsa team that's so very talented and spent a lot of time in the top 25 this year, or get UNLV in what uh, amounts to a home game for the Rebels? Yeah. The winner of this one, we'll find out. 11:40 left. Bulldogs down by 14. When the people at GMC came up with value pricing for their eight-passenger safari van, they looked at what the competition offered and took it one step further. 
load the standard safari van with a powerful V6, air conditioning front and rear, power locks, power windows, AM FM stereo cassette, and much more. At just $22,453, we are out to prove we're putting value on the road like never before. And now get 3.9% APR GMAC financing for up to 60 months. See your San Joaquin Valley GMC dealer today. If you're a Bulldog fan, you're going to love this. Juicy ribeye steak smothered with sautéed mushrooms, baked potato, bread, and a fresh green salad. Only $5.88. Earth goes cafe. Select business systems and sharp copiers. The winning combination. Your reputation is on the line when you choose copiers. So you've got to have quality products like award-winning sharp copiers and sharp duplicators. But you also need local service support. So take advantage of Select Business System's documented commitment to service. For peace of mind, more value. Select Business Systems and Sharp Copiers, the winning combination. Baseball and softball season tickets are on sale now at the Bulldog Ticket Office. Every Friday is turned back to clock night. Tuesdays are family nights, Sundays are special days, and at baseball on Sundays, there will be a kids area made available. Call 278-DOGS for information on discounts for each of these special days. Some dog fans feeling doggone low right now with Fresno State down by 14. There's low Starkanian. It's been tough. She takes these games on, I think, as hard as, as Jerry does. Yes, yeah, she does. Always has. TCU has just shot lights out. Still shooting, what, 58% for the game? Defense! 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 22 out of 38 from the field. This is the most shot clock either team has used, down to seven. All of Not going to get a good shot either. Young's going to have to take a long three. Smith up a little too early. Didn't get the rebound. Comes off to Dennis Davis. Johnson. No good rebound point. Saw Fresno State face a 15-point deficit in the first half. Get down to four. Heron will take that three. Looks good. It is good. That's the way to get a three. You feed the post. When they dive the post, get it right back out. That's the best look Heron has had. 11-point game. Kicked it back out. Heron now has 26. Now the crowd trying to get him rolling. Jackson misses, and so many times when Fresno State has made a run, TCU's come back and hit a big bucket. Brooks on the run for three. No good. Rebound comes off to Jones. TCU just doesn't let you rest. They go in transition immediately. Fowler hits the two-pointer. Jones drew the defender, kicked it out to Prince Fowler. He now has seven. Their conditioning really is impressive. They've been running all that long. Next time it's there. The one thing that always gives you a chance in a game like this is the three-point play. Aaron had a shot at it and missed it. Jones with another rebound. Here comes Fowler. Whips the pass inside. Walker has it blocked by 40, but Jones puts something to garbage and scores. 33 now by Jones. He yeah, hasn't set out a middle. Nor has Johnson. Thrown away by Young. Davis comes up with it. That's 11 turnovers now for Fresno State. Nine minutes to play in the game. Jones again. That's his score high. Highs it. I beg your pardon. 36 for Mike Jones. Biggest lead of the game for TCU. Now up by 18. 
Dominic Young. Rebound Forney. He'll put that back up and in. Ten points for Damon Forney. Eight and a half minutes left. Well, Jones will set a new last tournament record for scoring. He was fouled on the way up. He'll shoot three first. Kendrick Brooks, his first foul. And that's the second team foul on Fresno. TCU also with two. There have been very few fouls in this basketball game. Terrence Roberson into the game. There's Jones who shows the quickness, head and shoulders. Stops, goes up, gets hammered. So he's about to... Uh, Set a new career high. He got 36 against Utah. And there it is. That's also a whack tournament record. David Evans had the old mark of 36 points for Colorado State last year in the tournament in Albuquerque. He's 10th in scoring in the West Athletic Conference. And if you talk to Jerry Carcani and Rick Majerus, I'm sure they voted for him all conference. against Fresno State. Or no. Oh, it was on TCU's Dennis Davis, so it'll be Bulldog basketball. But we have a timeout on the floor. 7.59 remaining now. And Fresno State down 83-65. We'll be right back. The clever idea people from Plymouth are at it again with another clever idea. Plymouth Voyager Plus. What's the plus? A great lease rate, just $1.99 a month. Plus air conditioning, seven passenger seating, and a whole lot more for this great lease rate. Now that's a big plus. Plymouth Voyager Plus. Get into your Northern California Chrysler and Plymouth dealer. It's the new place to be. Original Coors in the yellow can. So here Ray got a new pickup. What? Saving money on corporate insurance costs doesn't have to mean cutting back. With Reinhardt Insurance, it's usually the result of better management of your total insurance program. Reinhardt, the name means insurance. For many people, convenience is where it's at. That's what 24-hour tailoring, upon request, is all about at the Men's Warehouse. I guarantee it. The Men's Warehouse in Fresno, Visalia, and Bakersfield. Friday night at 8, a bite from a flesh-eating zombie turns Quinn from victim to monster on sliders, followed by Millennium, only on your station, KMBH, Box 26. 7.59 remaining in the basketball game. Bulldogs down by 18, and uh, Fresno State's been bitten by a couple of... Uh, point-eating shooters, huh? Is that incredible? They have 63 points between them. And Jones seems to get most of the rebounds, too. 38 points, 9 rebounds for Mike Jones. As Macklin misses the layup. Malcolm Johnson has 25 points and 7 rebounds. This is Jones going for 40 and getting it. Twenty-point lead for Fresno, a twenty-point lead for TCU. Forty points for Mike Jones and Bulldogs. Irvin had no answer for Jones or Jones. Heron's miss, rebounded by Davis. Davis done a good job on the backcourt for him. He gives him a real presence in the middle. Jones, one-handed pass inside, a little too slick for Damian Walker, but he corrals it, scores the basket, and draws the foul. You know, Ed Manning is here for the Spurs. Mel Daniels is here for the Pacers. You think this guy can't play at the next level? 
He made the pass. It's been all Mike Jones. Nice assist. The assist is every bit as important as the basket. DC is looking for number 20. This is Billy Tubbs' third year after a lot of success in Oklahoma. Before that in Lamar. Six points and five rebounds in this game for Daniel Walker. And a 23-point lead. Billy Tubbs in the home throw. You're going to have a shot. you got to turn this into an alley fight. you got to shoot before that shot clock gets down 25 seconds. you got to go out and just hammer them and look for a break from the officials. DCU is just too quick. And they've shot lights out. Jones uh, with one of the few mistakes he's made in the game. Walk with the ball and turns it over. That's 17 turnovers for TCU. But I think that's a column that uh, they won't even consider. So this is score one. one. Court one's on the left-hand side right now. It's 865. Nice jump stop. That's a good effort. Real good effort by Heron. Heron knifing between the defenders. He now has 28 in the game. At 35, the last two times out. Heron with a steal, looking for his third straight 30-point performance and gets it with the layup. Oh, what is a foul? Goes over to 6'9 guy, lays it soft off the window. Here's the pressure. Jones, of course, gets it and hits. 42 now for Mike Jones. Heron spins, dishes, fouled on the pass. Who was the guy from Notre Dame that, that threw in about 60? I think that was the record in an NCAA game. I'm gagging, actually. I remember I'll come up with it. What? What? Skia Jones from Kansas State really ran it up against Fresno State in the NIT quarterfinals a few years back. He was one of the shots that Jones has made. If you take a look at the effort here, it's been easy. Chris Heron has had a, a terrific basketball game for Fresno State. He's got 30. And he's got three straight for 30 or more. Three straight games. The story here, though, has been Jones, who had sat down one minute, one second. You're the coach. You don't sit him down either, right? He's in such great shape. There's a foul. That's team foul number five on the Horned Frogs. Foul is on Thule. For years, TCU just kind of fiddled as you take a look at Jerry Terry King with basketball. And then Johnny Swain coaching, and then Mo Iva. Now all of a sudden, they look like they're real serious about basketball. Would you want to play this ball club, Ralph, from what you've seen? At this point, I said, no, not today. There are not too many teams that stay with what we've seen out here today. Johnson with 25, Jones with 42. And they've never let the pressure up. They've kept it on the entire game, running, running. I don't think this is the same TCU team that fell behind by 15 points to Wyoming in, the, in round one of the WAC tournament. That was on Tuesday. Down by 15 with 11 and a half to play, but, but to end up winning by 11, I can see where they just turned it on. Like that. Burks doesn't get the layup to fall, but there is a foul. Billy Tubbs wanted goaltending. Scott Thorn Thornley says no. All right. Splits the scene. Look at the quickness. Once again, it's a broken record, but speed never has a bad day. There's the foul. And there's the goaltending. Got a good case for goaltending, Paul. But it was there. Did not get it. You can't touch the basketball when it's in the glass, or I mean in the shoulder or on the glass. Burks to the line. He has six points in the game. All in the first half, closing out the first half with that big three-pointer that gave TCU a seven-point lead. Winner gets Tulsa. Tulsa's got a kid named Ruffin and a kid named Seals are very good. Now, what they don't have is the kind of speed I've watched out here today. Under five and a half minutes remaining now. TCU really since Fresno State had a 10-9 lead. 
Boy in the first half. Smith. Nice little move. Puts it up and in. Athletic. Eight points for Rasan Smith. You'd think you'd have a chance if you could ever stop him, but nobody's been able to stop the team in purple. Holding foul going to be called on, I believe, Dominic Young. On the dribble, the third foul on Young. TCU basketball out of bounds at the baseline. I'm, I'm really wondering if TCU has a delay game. Because a lot of times when you're up big like this, you take some time off the clock. They don't look like they're interested in that. They just keep going. Johnson got the rebound. Foul. Two shots for Malcolm Johnson. Spot, guys, spot, please. Thank you. Here it is. Now they got the big lead. But instead of taking it back out with a fresh 35, they continue to put the pressure on him. Johnson, who has 25, will go to the line for a pair. This is the highest scoring team in TCU history. So they can light it up. Tell you what, they just kind of messed around with basketball for a long time down there. Now they're pretty serious. Sounds like they're serious now, and it looks like they're serious now. Johnson, he's serious, 27 points. Kendrick Brooks checking back into the game for Fresno State. Darnell McCullough goes to the bench. Under five minutes now, 4.55. Didn't know how good this club would be. They lost Kirk Thomas, a pretty good player a year ago. Aaron Long on the three-point attempt. Rebound by Jones. Ahead. Johnson tried to call out of the timeout while he was going out of bounds, but he did not have control of the basketball on the way out. But you got to control the ball before you can make that quick snap timeout call. I'm going to tell you how much it's changed down in Fort Worth. I'm looking at their press guide, and it's about, what would you say, about 15 pages. Every press guide I've ever looked at in my life has a history of all-time lettermen as a young Mrs. one. And, uh, you know, who's in the pros and who's done this and who's a successful <laughs> basketball star. There's one thing in here. You got the wrong guy. Maybe that's it. <laughs> who's I the just best? pulled out the big one. The big you got one the big one now. There's their parent. Heron now with 32. So in his last three games, Chris Heron is at 35, 35, 32. Mike Jones. How many times have we said that? 44 points now for Mike Jones. Irv, I'll tell you another strange thing about this season. Especially, it seems that every team gets gunned up to play against Jerry Tarkini. Oh, yeah. And you'll have somebody have a career high in points or rebounds. Somebody will come through and have an incredible game. Yeah, and today, exactly it's right. Mike Jones. He has a career high. He's been amazing. Of course, Tubbs, uh, we talked about TCU tradition. You look back, and you, you did get the uh, varsity uh, book. I got the junior varsity one. But I'm looking at current NBA players coached by the TCU staff, and they're all from Oklahoma. Stacy King and Harvey Grant, Mookie Blaylock. These are all you guys that Billy had. That should change down to Fort Worth because he plays a style that's really interesting. They get it up and down the court. Knocked out of bounds. It'll be TCU basketball with a timeout on the floor. 3.02 remaining and bad news for the Bulldogs. Never before have you seen a vehicle like this. One that can open doors and stay as versatile as you. It's Third Door Sonoma by GMC. Our latest innovation, the first and only vehicle of its kind that's open to it all. No matter how open, open happens to be. And now get 3.9% APR GMAC financing. See your San Joaquin Valley GMC dealer today. Humanity continues to disappoint me. Oh. Letting me let you love you. He's a genius. I am. Really? Okay. Let's go. Come on. Go! If you're really searching for new answers, how about Denny's three new omelets? Not to mention all the others starting at just $2.99. They really fill that inner void. There's even a book about these beauties. We call it a menu. Yeah. Turn to page three. There's a picture of me. <laughs> just kidding. That's a turkey. The next home improvement. Jim and Al get small and journey to the center of a shattered Chevy. 
This is a knocking out? No, I think that's how you... Watch as they brave the hardships of a clogged carburetor. Now try this at home unless you too are four inches tall. But danger lurks around every cylinder. It's the home improvement that asks the terrifying question... Help me! Will Al be little forever on the next home improvement? Tonight at 7 on Fox 26. Three minutes, two seconds remaining in this WAC quarterfinal game between Fresno State and TCU. It's all Horned Frogs. 44 points in the game for TCU's Mike Jones, a career high. 29 points for Malcolm Johnson. That matches his career high. Chris Heron leading the Bulldogs with 32, his third straight 30-plus point game. The only other Bulldog in double figures, Damon Forney, with 12. Three-point shot has deserted Fresno State, uh, although Bulldogs really averaging about eight out of 24. But TCU far above its per-game average for three-pointers. Seven TCU's average, and they've hit 12 already in the game. It's down again, draws nothing on that shot. Two players from TCU get career highs. It's 31 for Malcolm Johnson. 44 points for Mike Jones. You know, that's a great day, and yet it's the second uh, best effort out here today. That's how good Jones has been. I think uh, the story at halftime that was a little scary that was the backboards. TCU was just sensational on the glass. TCU uh, holding a huge rebounding edge, as you might expect. Jones missed one. But Johnson gets the board. Has it blocked by Rasan Smith? Jones, hope comes out with it. Under two minutes now remaining in the game. Great pass by Jones to Damian Walker for the slam. So... You know, he's got some ability passing that basketball, too. He'll get you an assist. He guns a lot. Fresno State came into this as the Pacific Division champion in the WAC. Turnover by Darnell McCullough, who then misses the slam dunk in frustration. That kind of sums up the day for Fresno State. Bulldogs came in after winning four straight, including two big wins on the road. And, uh, clinched the WAC Pacific Division Championship in the number one seed here. TCU seeded number four out of the Mountain Division, which is a stronger division, obviously. UNLV was another hopeful for the NCAA tournament. Yeah, realistically, you're looking at the NIT for Fresno State. They'll wind up 20 and 11. The Horn Frogs have their uh, 20th win. They're 20 and 11 right now. They'll play Tulsa tomorrow. Brooks fouled by Heron. Bulldogs will uh, fly home tomorrow afternoon. The flight departing Las Vegas, approximately 1 o'clock. So should arrive in Fresno sometime around 1.45 to 2. And Billy Tubbs can start to thinking about getting ready for Tulsa. Tulsa's a talented team. I'm not sure anybody would handle this outfit here today, though. Well, this is, as we mentioned earlier, this is the highest scoring team in TCU history uh, with one more point. And Burks gets it. This uh, matches the WAC tournament record, 104 points. And uh, guess who gave up 104 last year in the tournament? Fresno State to New Mexico, but it took New Mexico three overtimes to get 104 points. Director well, Jarris mentioned earlier uh, just how capable TCU will score. But we saw another dimension today. They hit the glass hard. Their pressure defense was very effective early. These guys had a great game. Heron looking for points 33 and 34. And I'm not sure... After the game, if Jerry Tarkanian will attribute any of uh, any of this to the distractions of what came out in the newspaper today, if uh, if that had any effect on his team, uh, we saw what effect it had on him from hearing his comments before the game. But uh, you said once the ball goes up, 
they forget about it. I, I think TCU just was a better basketball team. Yeah, TCU let them know they were in a basketball game from the get -go. Here's what's interesting now. Now, Billy Club has got his starters in there, and Johnson just went down hard. He didn't come out one minute. Now he finally comes out. I thought he got hurt right there. They got a tough game tomorrow against Tulsa. And the winner of that game probably gets Utah. Well, that's not right, because Utah's got to get by either New Mexico or Hawaii. So nothing's for sure. Malcolm Johnson leaves the game with 31. Darnell McKellar with the steal, and he should put this one and lays it up softly. McKellar in double figures with 10. We'll talk to Jerry immediately after the game. We hope so. He'll be disappointed that I think this cost his team any chance of making an NCAA tournament appearance. Walker lays it up. And that's a new black team. 106 points. 11 for Walker. 25-point lead now for TCU. The Horned Frogs will advance to play Tulsa tomorrow. The Bulldogs will come home and await a call, most certainly from the NIT, for a second straight year. There it is. So this one is over, and so is the WAC tournament for Jerry Tarkani and the Bulldogs. Three zeros on the clock, and it strikes midnight for the Bulldogs here with a quarterfinal loss to TCU with the WAC tournament. Final score again here, 106 to 81, Fresno State falling to 20 and 11 on the season. We'll be back with more after this. What if buying other stuff was like buying a car? Yeah, I saw your ad for the $10 trim. Ah. That was last week. Today's special is the man about town. Hundred bucks. What do you think? Oh, I don't know. All right then, the presidential candidate. Uh, oh, that is a beauty. What's a hundred beans between friends? But at General Motors, the car you want is the car you get every time. If you really want to turn heads, try the troubled youth. Now shopping for a car doesn't have to be like shopping for a car. You've tried to prevent it. You've tried to decrease it. You've even tried to stop it. Now you can reduce or virtually eliminate it. Stop snoring for good and begin enjoying nights of restful sleep. Trust the physicians at the Central California Ear, Nose, and Throat Medical Group. RSVP today for our next free educational seminar. Sunday, catch the most child moments ever caught on tape. James Brown hosts the world's funniest kids outtakes. Then, Primetime's longest-running animated series is also the classiest. Can we get some clear play? I can't see the TV. The Simpsons. And CY TV Guy calls the smash hit comedy King of the Hill sharp and funny. You got that right. Mm -hmm. King of the Hill. It all happens Sunday starting at 7, 6 central on Fox. Why advertise on Fox 26? It reaches out. I've got them from Bakersfield. I've got people that come in from Albury, you know, Cutler, Rosa, just different towns. It spreads out good. And I notice that as soon as we get a notice that we've had an article on or an advertisement on, in 30 minutes we'll have an increase. New customers. That's what's great about it. You get new customers. Call Fox 26 marketing specialist Corey Mullaney today. Don't miss coupon savings days at Good Guys Tire Centers. Get a complete air conditioning service, just $29.95 with coupon. For your good guys, wholesale tires and expert auto repair. Welcome back to uh, Las Vegas. A disappointing debut, and as it ends up, exit from the WAC tournament for the Fresno State basketball team. Ralph Wood, along with Irv Brown, and the 106 or 108 to 61 defeat at the hands of TCU. Uh, ends this tournament early for Fresno State. Bulldogs uh, very disappointing, although TCU just uh, was unbelievable today. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know who could have beat them. That's how good they were. And uh, the, the two guys we talked about all game long, Ralph, Jones and Johnson, 75 between them. And they were just terrific. And uh, they won the battle of the boards. Usually that's who uh, wins the game. All right. Our subway sub of the game is Dominic Young, who came off the bench as he has for the last several games and hit Three three-pointers to close out the first half. At that point, the Bulldogs had cut a 15-point deficit down to four before Burks hit the three-pointer to close out the half. It was a seven-point game, and the Bulldogs really never had much of a look at it after uh, the early moments of the 
second half. But the Subway sub of the game brought to you by Subway. At Subway, it's my way with 57 locations. Now the Sun Made Raisin player of the game. No surprise here. It's Chris Heron. 34 points. 14 out of 27 from the field. Uh, his third straight 30 plus point game. So the Sun Made Raisins player of the game is brought to you by Sun Made, the world's favorite raisin. We'll be back with more here from Las Vegas. Wrap things up after this timeout. bullet. It's frost brewed to tap the clean taste of the Rockies. Tap the wide mouth, the Coors Light wide mouth can, with a giant opening for a smoother pour. Spend your lunch hours staying informed with up-to-the-minute news, weather, and traffic at noon and 24 hours a day on KMPH News Radio 107.5. 106 to 81, the final score here from Las Vegas. Bulldogs will be heading home and uh, expecting a call from the NIT. That uh, will be next because there will be no NCAA tournament for, for Fresno State this year. Time now for the play of the game brought to you by Fig Garden Village on the northeast corner of Palm and Shaw. Let's take a look at our play of the game. Damon Forney. Now watch the pass back from Chris Heron. Behind the back to Damon Forney. Who puts it up and in? Again, the play of the game brought to you by Fit Garden Village on the northeast corner of Palm and Shaw. The Craig and Auto Parts final stats reveal some telling numbers. Uh, perhaps the biggest deficit that the Bulldogs have faced on the board all year long. Out-rebounded by, what, 24 uh, turnovers? Well, once again, they just, uh, they just came out, and when they hit the glass like that, it, it was incredible. Uh, you, uh, uh, the Fresno State Bulldogs shot the ball effectively. Yeah, I think the turnover story, that may, be, may have been 19 turnovers because I know the TCU was turning the ball over with regularity and we were talking about that. That won't make any difference because they're just, they're just running it up. And uh, again, the highest scoring team in TCU history scoring a, a record. Yeah. One of the few, tournament record, 106 points. One of the few basketball games that you will watch where the one and one isn't a factor, the two shot fouls aren't a factor. This was strictly from the field, and mainly long-range bombing by Jones and Johnson. And uh, they were just uh, they were just red hot. I'll tell you what, that's as good a one-two punch as, as you'll see in some time. 35-second shot clock went down for a while, and it didn't really matter, did it? One time they got the <laughs> shot clock down to five, and everybody was a little surprised and kind of gasping. But uh, it'd be interesting to see if TCU gets by Tulsa what they can do against you would assume Utah. Utah is just a, a very tough team. A lot of people think they'll be a number two seed in the West. And um, it'll be interesting because you shoot like this, you got a shot at anybody. you got a slugger's chance. We should mention that Jerry Tarkanian, as you probably surmised, declined to do the post-game interview with us today. Uh, what would you think that he would he would feel about his team on a, on a day like this? Uh, did you see lacking uh, anything lacking in the Bulldogs? Or no, I, just, all TCU? I just thought TCU, you know, and, and when, when people lose a game, the first thing you want to look at is, you know, what do we do? What did we do wrong? I got to tell you something. I'm not sure they did anything wrong. I don't know who could have handled this ball club unless you'd have beat them up on the backboard with bigger people. They just shot an incredible percentage. They were in shape. They went uh, coast to coast. I've always believed that speed never has a bad day, and they were faster than Fresno State. You had two guys with uh, career highs, mm -hmm. Mike Jones with 44 and Malcolm Johnson with 31. Just an incredible day for TCU. Yep. See if they uh, can continue with this tomorrow night. Okay, for the Bulldogs, the NIT probably coming up next. Uh, the team returns again tomorrow to Fresno. The flight here leaves about 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Should arrive in Fresno between 1.45 and 2 o'clock. For Irv Brown and our entire crew here in Las Vegas, that's going to do it for now. Fresno State bounced during the quarterfinal round of the WAC tournament with a 106-81 loss to TCU. So long, everybody. Bulldog Basketball was brought to you by Original Coors. Since 1873, Original Coors in the Yellow Can, the last real beer, and by Unical 76, a proud sponsor of the Bulldogs. 76, we get it.
We're your station, Lindsay. This is KMPH Fox 26. Fox invites you to sing along with King of the Hill. Hank Hill's a family guy. Regular is part five. Some pants. I'm wearing shorts. Uh -huh. Just plain folks, it's just plain funny. King of the hill. Bill here's a fashion plate. Yeah. Change the shirt in 68. This hound dog's name is Dale. Think the UN on his tail. And boom, how our subculture tent is a You mean to well as well. I'll tell you what you do. You just take them down spark plugs out, and then that little hole just put a little hole around there just like bobby on just like it could go boom boom just like that king of the hill catch king of the hill sunday at 8 30 7 30 central on fox this program is rated tvg money from a structured settlement annuity or insurance claim do you have a need for cash now at jg wentworth we've helped thousands of people settle their debts buy new homes pay college tuitions and open new businesses if you're currently receiving money from a structured settlement, annuity, or insurance claim, but you need money now, call J.G. Wentworth. Call now. Operators are standing by. Call 1-800-FUND-582. Coops out to cop some big bucks. If you can crunch it, munch it, or slurp it, I want it in my machine. When he buys a vending machine. What you doing, son? You don't want to do that. Put your money right there. Now he's making money off his own students. You have no shame. No shame, no game, no step on it. And PJ's on to his scam. Get out of there, Mom. He's in for more change than he bargained for. You are fired. On the next Hanging with Mr. Cooper. Friday morning at 10.30 on Fox 26. With a full hour of home improvement, weeknights at 7 on your station, Fox 26.